Hey friends, so it is October, the weather is getting cooler, the holidays are getting closer and it is time to make another heartwarming comfort food. In today's recipe, I will be showing you how I used a better cracker gingerbread mix to achieve this beautiful bread that you see on your screen. We're also going to be making our own homemade lemon glaze to go with it, guys. This right here is my first time trying it, so let's see how it turns out. We will all see it together without wasting much of your time. Let's get started. Welcome back, friends. So you guys know that I always, always use my Duncan Hines um, cake mixes and that's because i just love it so much but lately i've been getting a lot of requests to work with this brand betty crocker to me i think it's it's just as good but i still prefer duncan heist it is just a personal preference so i will be using um the gingerbread mix from betty crocker to work with this recipe today again this is my first time trying to tweak this recipe and i just promised myself that we're gonna just do a trial and error today together so I'm gonna start off by sifting the mix. Now this says it's a cake and cookie mix. However, I wanna call it a bread mix, okay? And I will let you know as we get um, into the video, I will let you know why I think um, the instructions that it gives is not for a cake, but a bread, all right? So I'm just sifting it through. Um, it does have a lot of lumps because it does contain the molasses. So I'm just trying to um, sift it through so that I can break all the lumps. But eventually I'm going to pour everything back in there. We do not want to get rid of anything. All right. So here we go. Nice and airy as you can see. Just the way we we'll like it. So now we're going to go ahead and bump up our spices as usual. This is um, a good old trick that you don't ever want to miss. So since this is a gingerbread, we're going to bump up that ginger flavor. If you can handle it, add as much as you can. I am going with half a tablespoon. You can even go with a whole tablespoon. Also, we're going to bump up more flavors by adding one fourth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and one fourth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. You can also use all spice seasoning. It works beautifully beautifully in here all right so there we go we dump those in there it's going to elevate a lot of those flavors that are already in the mix so go ahead and get that incorporated on the dry ingredients this recipe is going to be so so simple i use minimal minimal ingredients to achieve this and i must say that i was happy with my results at the end of the day okay so here it is a dry ingredients all nicely incorporated and i'm only gonna add one egg and this is exactly what the box does request for reason why i added one egg i was going more for a bread consistency you know that old-fashioned gingerbread and not a cake okay if i'm going with a cake i would definitely need um, at least two eggs to three now it does ask for one and one fourth cups of water but we already know a rule of thumb we are not doing water so today i opted to do buttermilk again this is my first time tweaking this particular recipe okay most of the time i work on the recipe behind the scenes and then i come and share it with you guys but this one i'm actually trying it on camera so i am substituting the water with buttermilk you can also use whole milk just don't use water use something with fat in it because i am not going to add any butter to this recipe nor oil it does not ask for any of it so i did not add it but you can go with one fourth of a cup of vegetable oil if you like your bread to be more on that um really moist side the oil would really do it for you so yeah you can go ahead and add one fourth of a cup of vegetable oil you will get really good results if you have not seen my pumpkin um my pumpkin bread recipe go ahead i will link it in the description box and up in the cards you can see that so that texture that i got from that is very different from this this is like a bread bread it is that it gives me that traditional just old school old fashioned gingerbread so if that is what you like then this recipe is definitely for you 
So now I went in with my hand mixer and then I just um, bit it on low to medium speed just to get everything incorporated. Be careful not to over beat it. We do not have a lot of ingredients so um, you don't really need to beat this for more than two minutes. Now here is a batter. This is what it looks like. It is very light as you can see which is what I'm going for. I want my bread to be to really look like a bread you know and taste like it as well as the texture so this is what we're working with now I am using a loaf pan today this is a 9 by 5 and please don't make my mistake make sure you grease your pan I forgot to grease my pan and it was by the grace of God that it came out okay okay I think it's because of the butter that I added added at the end which is another addition that I'm gonna show you guys so yeah pour all that batter into a 9 by 5 um, baking pan and by this time your oven should have been preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit get all the batter in there make sure you scoop and scrape the bowl entirely and next we're just gonna try to level up the batter in our pan as much as possible just to get a nice and even bread when it comes out so into our oven it goes for 35 to 40 minutes okay make sure that a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out dry and here we go guys look at that this was one of the most perfect and beautiful loaf i have baked in a while the smell guys those spices and the fresh spices that we just added the bomb you can see what it looks like up close it really did the job for me as you can see it still has that bounce to it even though we did not add any butter or any of that so it is really nice and airy just the way we want it now like I mentioned I do have a tip for you as well when the while the bread is still hot I want you to melt one tablespoon of butter this is my Kerrygold butter you can use salted or unsalted this is Kerrygold butter one tablespoon melted and you want to brush that and pour it all over the top of the bread let me tell you this tip right here is going to form that nice base for a glaze that we're going to add to our bread and let me tell you it does add a lot of moisture a lot of flavor to our bread so please this is a must-have do not forget to add um, one tablespoon of butter and let the bread rest and cool completely then we'll go ahead and make our lemon glaze this glaze is so simple you just need two ingredients so here I have two cups of powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar two cups of that and to that I am adding some freshly squeezed lemon juice I just squeeze these lemons out so I will be adding a total of three tablespoons of that lemon juice okay I added it gradually but in total I used three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice to two cups of powdered sugar and I was going for a really thick glaze something that can harden and form a nice coating over our baked bread so yeah when you work with box cakes uh, box mixes you and you cut a lot of ingredients please always make your glaze or frosting from scratch you will always always get the results that you desire so here is a glaze now we're gonna go ahead and pour it on that cool bread guys look at that folder we're getting satisfying again i love this process so much so you're just gonna go ahead and pour that over the bread and then you can just use a spatula and then just move it around we're trying to form like a thick layering over it you know a nice layer of that um, lemon frosting it tastes so good just two ingredients so yeah as you can see I'm just using my spatula and just moving it around so that the bread gets covered guys this look it's just so beautiful if you get to try any of my recipes and you want to share a picture with me you can do so by following me and tagging me on Instagram or Facebook my um, handle will be on the page on the screen right here and it is also in my description box the link is in my description box so we went ahead 
and garnished with some fresh lemon zest by the way you can also add a tablespoon of that zest in your gingerbread if you like the lemon taste on it it is also very delicious and gives a very nice fragrance this is what our bread looks like as you can see it is really a bread it is not a cake um at all so this is what it looks like i really like the outcome for a bread so i would give this a pass as well and i hope you get to try it and let me know how you like it thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys in my next one y'all stay safe i love you all bye